Today we're making chocolate covered strawberries. Chocolate covered strawberries that look like tuxedos. For today's recipe we need washed, well dried, chilled strawberries, white chocolate chips, milk chocolate chips, a little bit of shortening, and a zip sandwich size Ziploc bag. Our first step is to melt the white chocolate chips. We need to add a little bit of shortening to those white chocolate chips. We want it to be smooth, not chunky. So probably with this many white chips, we're going to add probably about a tablespoon of shortening. We're going to put it in the microwave for about a minute. We'll take a look and see if it's melted. If it's not melted, then we'll run it for another 10 or 15 seconds until it is melted. So off these go into the microwave for a minute. So after a minute, here's what we have. They look like they're not melted, but once we put the knife in there, you can see that they're starting to blend together. So let's stir those. Looks like there still might be a few more chunks in there. We want it completely melted. Do a quick stir. We're gonna put it in for probably about 10 more seconds. After about 10 more seconds, here's what we have. It looks like it's smoothed out quite a bit more. So I think we're good to go. We need to take a, a washed, dried, very well dried, and very well chilled strawberry. Hold, grasp it by the stem. If you had long stem strawberries, this is where that would come in handy. And you're gonna dip it. The reason we use a bigger cup on this is because we need to dip almost the entire thing in the white chocolate. So just going to dip it, kind of roll it around to get it almost to the crown. I'm going to shake it off just a little bit. Then I'm going to hold it here so that it runs back onto itself. Just kind of roll it around a little bit. And then it's going to go on the tray in just a moment. I have parchment paper down. You could use wax paper if you wanted. Let's see. I think that looks like the prettier side. Alrighty, let's do another one. If you had nice big berries, this would be nice. I have some I just picked up at the just regular berries I got at the grocery store. Okay, dip it again all the way in almost to the top there. Shake it off just a little bit. And pull it back on itself. See there are still chips that didn't get melted probably want to stir it a little better than I did here. Pull it back on itself and there it goes. Then you want to refrigerate these for about five minutes until they're set up and then uh, while they're refrigerating we'll take our milk chocolate chips, add some shortening, not as much since it's a smaller cup. The reason I use a smaller cup is we're going to dip these from the side and we want to be able to get to that easier. So I don't know, probably a teaspoon or so or so. There we go. We'll refrigerate these for five minutes. We'll do that and we'll also put these in for about 45 seconds. We'll get it to that same consistency as the white so it's nice and smooth for dipping. Alright, so the strawberries have cooled in the refrigerator for about five minutes. We've melted our milk chocolate chips. Now what we're going to do, um, as we set these here, they formed a little pool so we know this is going to be our front part of our tuxedo. So we'll be actually dipping chocolate on this side and on this side. So we'll grab it again. We're going to dip this side. This is where the shallower bowl comes in handy. We'll kind of scrape it off. And then we're going to flip it and dip the other side. I usually use this with one hand, but it might be easier to see if I use flip it or actually flip my hands too. Alrighty. Starting to look like a little tuxedo. We're going to scrape it off instead of put it back on itself. If we put it back on itself, we might run and make our tuxedo not nearly as pretty as it was a minute ago. Havesy. Scrape it off a bit. Havesy. Scrape it off a bit. Alrighty. There. Yep, that one's already started with a little bow tie, it looks like. Alrighty, now we're going to take some of this chocolate and put it into, into the sandwich Ziploc bag because we actually need to use that to get our 
um, our buttons and our bow tie. You could also use a toothpick. If you were quite skilled with a toothpick, you could do that. Alrighty. Let's close that up. This chocolate's really warm, you can feel it. It might be beneficial to wait till it was a little cooler to pipe your buttons on. We're going to cut just a teeny tiny hole in the corner. If we cut anything too big, it's going to come out too fast and the bow tie especially will be a little more difficult to make. So we're just going to put three buttons on here. Oops. How about if I look at what I'm doing? It might help. We'll put the bow tie up right, way up high here since we have a little dab of chocolate up there. Large bow tie. All right, let's try this one. Let's see if we do any better with this one. Some little buttons. Yeah, that looks a little better. Let's see if we can get any better with the bow tie. Maybe a toothpick would have been a better idea. Bow tie just makes some triangles. And there we go. Other than this one right here. There we go. Tuxedo chocolate covered strawberries.